Hey guys, and welcome back to Metal Arms Glitching System. When we last left off, we had uh, met up with our friend Slosh, and well, he's an interesting character. He's a little bit hyper. Uh, now, whilst Glitchy is waiting up there to use the elevator, we're going to go and see if we can't get this generator kick-started. Now, Slosh is quite an interesting character, actually. I quite like him. He has the toaster flamethrower on one hand with infinite ammo I do like the way when he refills his uh, ammo puts new canister on that somehow refills his backpack with uh, flammable liquid as well he also has napalm grenades which are fairly useful quite an, a cool character trapped within an irritating level I think it's fair to say on this one let's go I mean it's not very long but we do have to deal with the swarmers. And my god, there is a lot of swarmers on this level. Uh, yeah, yeah, these things are annoying. Um, they are unlimited. You cannot kill them all. They will continuously bite you in the ass. Another thing that Slosh can do is he actually has a triple jump. Now you can see, just by standing, <coughs> well, not even really still for a few seconds... Uh, these guys will, uh, you know, um, hmm, swarm you. And they really suck. Now, getting this triple jump off is also a bit of an art, I must admit. Now, let's try and clear some space, because we need to get through here. Oh, God. I, I, talk about glitch in the system. Not 100% sure what actually happened there. Okay. Don't seem to be having a lot of success going through that one. Let's try this one up here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so getting your second jump off is pretty easy. Getting that third jump to trigger is actually pretty hard. Oh, right, let's keep moving. Let's keep burning all of these damn robot bastards. They're so annoying. Now, down here, there is just health. One thing I will say uh, is there is an awful lot of health to pick up on this level. So, ah, yeah, that's napalm canisters in there, I think. Yeah, okay. Well, we don't need any of those. So, we're not going to bother with that just yet. Let's just go down here. There should be a good chunk of health. Uh, unfortunately, Slosh, as you can see there, only actually has three battery compartments. That's not a lot of health. It really does get ebbed away pretty quick but it's okay because his flamethrower is pretty good against the standard enemies now what I find quite interesting here is the enemy flamethrowers can actually hurt you right? Um, but you can't hurt yourself with your own flamethrower which is just I don't know that I find that a little bit odd maybe they're using some kind of different fuel I don't know maybe I'm just looking into it too much probably would be my guess but yeah inconsistency like that is, is a bit strange for me okay I think this area is, area is pacified now you might yeah look you can I can already hear them coming back oh god oh god damn it bloody spider swarm of bastards yeah it's actually a little bit on the oh, difficult side to get through that. Let's get some napalm in there. Now the napalm grenades you would actually think might be pretty good here. Uh, they're not. They're really not that great at all. Oh my god, look at them all. There's literally hundreds of them. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them. Oh, kill him. Kill him. Health. Give me health. Ah, oh, much better. So much. Look at them all. I mean, they're called swarmers for a reason, right? Uh, apparently they hate fire, but they don't seem to hate fire that much. Come on. Oh, God. Okay. What the? I love that. Oh, God. What the hell? We literally just got absolutely eviscerated uh, <laughs> of course we did and how comes we spawned here with like 
nearly a whole battery missing. That's kind of strange. Oh, okay, okay. We need to take these flyers out. Take these flyers out as quick as we can. Luckily, we can't take a huge amount of punishment from our flamethrower. Now, the flamethrower does do a somewhat decent amount of damage. It's not amazing by any stretch of the imagination, but it's sufficient, you know. It, it's alright. It does, it does what it says on the tin. Alright, let's keep cleaning these bastards out. Oh my god, look at them. Now, the engine is really impressive here. Like, the fact that this GameCube, which has like a 495, I think it is, megahertz CPU, and it's just rendering all of this, is pretty impressive. Oh, shit. You know, when a talented developer gets hold of some hardware, it's always impressive what they can come up with. Okay, okay. Intruder alert. I'll give you intruders. Come to slosh. I was going to say come to glitchy then. You've been sloshed. Oh, God. Oh, look at them. Look at them all. Look at them all. Oh, hello. I don't know where that gentleman came from. Well, he's dead now. I'm trying to look in there. It looks like there's actually something in here. No, there isn't. Yeah, even the fact that we've got, like, fluid physics. Of sorts, anyway. You know, on a freaking GameCube. That's very impressive stuff. Oh, man. Right. The sooner I'm out of here, the better. Come on. Try that. Need to get your ass out of here, don't we, fl uh, Slosh? I think you've been stuck down in this Morbot place for... Oh, okay. A little bit too long. Yep. <laughs> you want to be very careful here as well because it's way too easy to fall into that uh, water there, which apparently robots are allergic to, which, you know, makes sense. Apart from, you know, when it doesn't make sense. Oof. Okay. Okay, good enough, good enough. Ah. Uh. Talk, oh God. Talk about intense, hot robot on robot action. Oof. In fact, that's a good name for the video. Oh, hello. Get this flamethrower going. <clears throat> now, the other thing to remember as well about the flamethrower is it really uh it can't fire for very long before you have to reload it 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 does not have high endurance to say the least but you know that's okay oh jesus christ oh they're everywhere they're everywhere that's all right slosh me boy stick with me buddy and i'll get you through maybe hopefully possibly i'll do me best anyway I'm not going to make you any promises, Slosh. But I'll do my best. No security breach here. Honest. Nothing to see here. Ooh, he dropped a napalm grenade. Interesting. Okay, okay. Burn him down. Burn him down. Oh, Jesus Christ. Was he full of swarmers or something? Like, seriously, what's going on? What's going on? No. Oh. Now, actually, interesting. Um, we had a discussion in the Discord about uh, video game flamethrowers generally sucking. Now, that's true. But, actually, the flamethrower in this game is pretty bloody good, to be honest. It's got a decent range. It's very powerful. Uh, especially on living things. <laughs> See what I did there? Resident Evil joke? Okay. Um, you know. It's, it's not that bad at all. Oh, God. Pacify the area. Now, obviously, being a flamethrower, its range isn't exactly unlimited. Ah, oh, piss off, swarmers. Ah, oh, piss off. Right, okay. Let's get these buttons pushed. Now the rub for this mission is we had to turn on the generator, if you remember. 
They, oh god, look at this guy. He's doing like barrel rolls and Immowin turns and everything. This guy's a badass. Oh, got him. So we actually have to switch these little power stations or these little generators or whatever they're meant to be. We've got to switch all these things on. Oh, just run from the swarmers. Run from them. There's l ah, nice health. There's literally very little, if any, point in fighting them, to be honest. You're just probably going to end up getting hurt. Um, oh god. Sadly, we do need to come up this way. Burn it! Burn it all! <sighs> Are you alright there, slosh? My old mate. You sure? Good. Uh, I'm all white. You're white. I'm all white. Sure you're white? All white then. Okay. Job done. Power generator back online. So we need to go backtrack. Backtrack out of this room, and that's fine by me. Bet you. I like all this. Now these are all powered up. Oh god damn it! I wish I could have done the Xbox version. Really do. The Xbox version is so pretty. And the frame rate is just... Well. <laughs> um, well, I mean, it's not 100% better. You know, but it's... It is better. For sure it's better. Right, we need to backtrack pretty far, I think. I don't think we can get up here. Oh, God. Dude, please do not throw yourself over the edge all right i don't want to sound like a, a a needy ninny but i need your energy so if anybody else could refrain from committing suicide today that would be fantastic all right it's a small ask but it goes a long way oh god oh the searing heat oof Just keep sterilizing these tunnels Slush would be pretty good in the Resident Evil universe, to be honest. Why do I get the feeling that I'm going the wrong way, though? Oh, I'm... No. No, we, I think we're okay. Yeah. Yeah, we're okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're just having the shit shot out of us. It's fine. Oh, okay. I thought we were going to miss that bounce pad then. Ooh. We're not okay. We're definitely not okay. Ah, I mean, okay, at least we've got a checkpoint here. Don't like the fact these checkpoints are being very, very stingy with recharging our health. I mean, game, you've, you've taken the kid gloves off now, and we're at best halfway through. It doesn't get any easier, folks. It does not get any easier. I can tell you that. In fact, ladies and gentlemen, quite the opposite. Ah, oh, God, burn, burn, burn it all. Yes, cleansing flame. Yeah, uh, those incendiary grenades are pretty rubbish against the swarmers. They have um, a really small area of effect. Which kind of sucks. But then, I, you know, I suppose that makes sense. You know, they are only Molotov cocktails at the end of the day. Oh, God, I keep thinking we're going to miss that bounce pad. But, oh. Now, obviously, against normal droids, they're pretty good. Oh, nice. Okay, could have got his energy there. But yeah, just unfortunately against uh, the Swarmers, they, they really do shit the bed most of the time. Oh, God. Right. Now this, this is Swarmer Central down here. And look at this. They just literally pile. Absolutely pile out of here. Look at this madness. Absolute madness. They're piling out of that one in front of us as well. Oh, and they're relentless. This bit, you really do have to 
get that triple jump down to a T. I think it's the only part of the level where you... Oh, God. Come on. Come on. Get out the fucking hole. Okay. You really do need to get that uh, triple jump down. I think it is the only part of the level where you need it. Oh, give me your energy. Mmm. You suck the fucking soul straight out of these guys. Oh, God. Suck that battery dry. Ah. Oh. Uh. Oh, fuck me. Where did you come from? You snaky, slimy little bastard. Uh, Alright. Fuck this slotch. Let's go. Let's go. Let's grab this health. And then we're going to peace on out of here. Yoink. Burn everything. Burn it all. Come on, baby. Oh, no, 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 no. Cleansing flame. Why? Why does the bridge take so long to build? Ah. <sighs> okay, 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 okay. Ah. Sweet serenity. <laughs> Rock and roll and hope I don't see ya. Uh, I like Slosh. He's cool. I like the way he gives us a flamethrower as well. It's pretty nice of the chat, to be honest. Now, if you thought we're out of this shit and things are about to get a whole load easier from here on out, <laughs> Sweet child. Um. Uh. Well, it looks like the game's crashed. Which is, uh, curious. Because I've tested this level three times. And it's been fine. Ah, uh, okay. Well, you know what? We're on 18 minutes. I might just call this one a, a very short video because um, I'm going to have to go replay all this again. Uh, God damn it. Yeah, this literally was the end. We're, the only thing that hasn't loaded here is the splash screen telling us uh, our time and whatnot. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.